Hey there, Scorpio. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. I'm just going to do a free-for-all. Let the cards come out and tell us what they want, how they want. I'm going to start with the Work Your Light Oracles, and then we're going to pull from the Light Sears Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well at this time. Cross watchers, you might have to vice versa the uh, the roles for it to fit your situation. Please feel free to do so. Only take what fits. If none of this fits your situation, just try a different message. Let's see what we get. For Scorpio, please and thank you, Spirit. What do we have for an overall energy for Scorpio? Awakening, energetic upgrades here. Wow, pillar of light, your vibration is rising in the initiation. Wow, so you're being, oh, don't put it on there. You're being initiated into a new phase. I did that with Virgo and it kept turning the video off of me. It got really frustrating. Yeah, this is a brand new beginning. Brand new. Going all in. It's interesting because I, I kind of get almost like you're being birthed into something, again, brand new. The initiation. Wow, this looks very much like the cycle of life, doesn't it? I feel like this is a whole new chapter. A whole new chapter. And it's nothing. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You worked so hard on this. It's nothing like the other chapters of your life. I think you're much more in touch with your author, narrator, <laughs> right? Since it is your story. You get to tell your story. Which characters are going to be in this scene? Which characters are going to be in this chapter? Which characters are we not necessarily killing off, but writing off? Yes? You are the author. You are the narrator. Scorpio, you are all in on something. Some of you guys could be starting up a new business. Some of you are tarot readers and you're about to put yourself out there on the world wide web, the internet. And you do fabulous. You do fabulous. For some of you, you're going to become a mother. Congratulations. Do you want to know if it's a boy or a girl? I can tell you right now. I can tell you right now what you're having. Some of you guys know that you get pregnant before it happens. And I just got a message. It was a good one. It was a really good one. Um, by the way, if you want to know what you're having, it's a girl. It's a girl. All right, let's see. I just flipped that card and put it right back. I guess we're not accepting toxic behavior, period. There is a zero tolerance policy. I just put that card right back in there and started shuffling like it didn't even try to come out in your reading, try to get some attention in your reading. <laughs> not today. The moon, which also indicates pregnancy. That's your cycle. That's your monthly women. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you're going to be finding out. You're going to know it before it happens, though. If this is not pregnancy for you, again, this is a new beginning. But I feel like there's so much about this new beginning that's like it's either so far off in the distance or it's not close enough to know that much about it. You still have a lot of questions. There's still a, a lot of, well, how do I get there from here? There's still a lot of that. But at the same time, you're channeling this energy. <laughs> so like, whatever you're doing, Scorpio, it's working. You have a new beginning here. You're continuing your work. You are growing the legacy. You are ascending. Some of you, it's you that's being reborn here. You'll know which version of this resonates with you most. We've got Aries, Cancer, Pisces out here so far. What else do we have? Please and thank you for Scorpio in this beautiful 
initiation here. The emperor, yes. You are the writer, the narrator, the director, the star. It's you. Four of Swords, you've been healing yourself after getting burned, Ace of Wands. But you know what? I feel like you're learning how to use that to your advantage. It's almost like if somebody tried to burn you, instead of really burning you, essentially, they ignited something within you that even you doubted yourself. But because you're choosing to rise above this situation, you are ascending. Now that's how you show the fuck up, Scorpio. <laughs> like, listen, you are lit. Yes, yes. Busy, busy, busy. We're not, we're not having, oh my gosh. We're not having the shit. <laughs> we're not having the shit. We're not going to be sitting around, woe is me, I'm the victim. Da, 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 da. No. Well, this went wrong. Well, this isn't, okay. But what is going good? What is going right? What can we do? What can we work on? Let's just focus on that. Yeah, look at that. You had a lot going on. You guys were feeling pulled in different directions. Like, what am I supposed to do here? And you solved that one real quick. I feel like you're giving something in your life the cold shoulder or someone. The cold shoulder, meaning you're writing them off. You're not catching up with them, inviting them, accepting invites from them. You're just not available. You're busy. Sorry, I'm busy. Sorry, I can't. Sorry, I'm busy. Sorry, I can't. Until they get the picture, I guess. And you are completely diving into something brand new. For some of you, um, there could actually have been a third person in this connection. that you didn't know about. I think that's why you're getting out of this situation. It could be the other person that they got pregnant. That's their mess. Let them clean it up. Um, you want no parts. You want nothing to do with that. Or you are going to take you and this baby. That could be what it is if you are pregnant. Or you've got something new going on. Um, you're just completely avoiding the tower with this situation by cutting off the the... I want to say gangrene, <laughs> cutting off the infection, right? That's a parasite. That's parasitic. Some of you are doing a, a cleanse too. Reiki, I'm getting a lot of Reiki in here. If you don't have the funds for all that, YouTube has free meditations that you can listen to. I promise you, like... You have to try them out. There, there are so many really, really good ones. Some of them are not like legit either, though. Just trust your trust your gut. Yeah, victory, success, being recognized and rewarded. Even if the people around you don't see it, your angels, your ancestors, your guides, they do. They do see this, all of this. And you're being initiated. There is an energy here that's not, they can't go with you. They can't go with you. Some of you feel like you don't understand why things weren't moving forward. It's because you're trying to take uh, dead weight. That's holding you back. I'm also getting some kind of a surgery to have something removed, like an abscess or a cyst. I'm actually seeing that surgery go splendid. The recovery is going to be a little rougher or longer, maybe. Um, or maybe it's the medicine is hitting you a little harder than you thought it would. But you are going to recover um, actually quite fast. Is there anything else that wants to come out for Scorpio? I kind of feel like that's it here. You're doing what's best for you. And for some of you, it's actually getting pregnant that makes you decide, you know what? And you're just kind of looking at your life through a new set of eyes and you're seeing things that you're not okay with that you don't want in your situation. So you're you're doing what you need to to cut the fat off. Death, rebirth. I can't even make it up. That's your overall energy. Lucky number 13. Yep. There you go. And there you are, Scorpio.
you got this. You always got this. Scorpios always got this. They shouldn't have to have it as much as they do, but they, but you do. Anyways, Scorpio, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, um, Aries. Wow, a lot of Aries in this. I'm going to leave it right there. I hope this helps who it needs to. I will see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.